The city of San Jose is taking steps to make a pedestrian only downtown street permanent. The city council approved a plan to turn San Pedro Square into a pedestrian mall between Santa Clara and St. John. But closing the street is not as easy as it looks. Len Ramirez explains. Well, this was a very unusual move by the city council, not the fact that they approved the pedestrian mall here at San Pedro Square, but that they did that without knowing how they're going to pay for it. Randy Musterer is the owner of Sushi Confidential, one of the downtown restaurants that was allowed to expand seating into San Pedro Street as part of a pandemic program to keep businesses alive. The street was closed to cars for three years, and now that will become permanent. It's going to remain closed to vehicular traffic, which is great for uh, all the local businesses, and it's great for the community because it's going to create a, a really good, vibrant uh, environment down here. There are just a few hints of San Pedro Street's former life as a place for cars. The vote was unanimous. All right. But a unanimous vote by the city council means that cars won't be coming back. What will be coming is a pedestrian-friendly walkway of shops, restaurants, and outdoor seating on the block between Santa Clara Street and St. John. Maybe focus on some other things like figuring out how we're going to fund some of these improvements. The cost so will be $9.5 million, dollars, but city officials admit there's no money for it in the budget. I think it's likely to be a very long time until we have $10 million to invest in this. The mayor suggested uh, private businesses pay for some of the cosmetic improvements, but the city will have to pay for things like regrading, storm drains, and fire hydrants. Businesses hope construction doesn't drag out because of the lack of funding. We just want to hope it's not devastating and a lot of these places end up closing because no one wants to come down here during a construction project. But the project is seen by one downtown neighbor as an overall positive outcome from the dark days of the pandemic. Having the people's spaces, you know, and no cars is great for the kids and being able to get out and bring the community together. The city will develop a more formalized plan with public input by the end of September, and it could take two to two and a half years before it's completed. The city rarely creates pedestrian walkways out of busy streets. San Antonio Street and San Carlos near San Jose State University were made into pedestrian malls decades ago.